The Indonesian armed forces have taken a significant step toward modernizing their military capabilities with the recent delivery of more than 500 new military vehicles. This major acquisition was celebrated in a ceremony organized by the Ministry of Defense in Jakarta, highlighting Indonesia's ongoing efforts to enhance its land forces. Among the newly received equipment were eight Harimau medium tanks, locally produced by PT Pindad, marking the completion of an initial order of 18 units. The first 10 Harimau tanks were handed over in March 2024, and this latest delivery represents a crucial development in bolstering the Indonesian Army's combat strength. The Harimau medium tank, Indonesia's latest addition to its armored fleet, is the result of a fruitful collaboration between Indonesia and Turkey. In May 2015, both nations embarked on a co-development project to design and produce the modern medium-weight tank, MMWT, specifically tailored to the needs of the Indonesian Army. The development phase was set for 37 months with a budget of $30 million, and the goal was to create a versatile tank capable of operating across Southeast Asia's diverse landscapes. Production responsibilities were shared between the two countries, with Indonesia's PT Pindad and Turkey's FNSS as the primary manufacturing partners. The first prototype of the Harimau tank was unveiled at the 2016 Indo-Defense Expo in Indonesia, followed by a second prototype, presented under the name Kaplan MT, at the IDF 2017 exhibition in Turkey. Both names, Kaplan and Harimau, translate to Tiger in their respective languages, symbolizing the tank's power and agility. The Harimau is designed with a range of features that make it suitable for a wide variety of combat missions. At the heart of the tank is a 105mm turret, manufactured by the Belgian defense company Cockerill. This powerful weapon system can fire a variety of munitions, offering flexibility for missions ranging from infantry support to urban combat. The tank is also equipped with modern electronic systems, including a battlefield management system, BMS, and a laser warning system, LWS which enhanced the crew's situational awareness and ability to respond to threats. In terms of performance, the Harimau is capable of reaching speeds of up to 70 km per hour, with an operational range of 450 km, making it highly mobile and suited to fast-paced operations. Its power-to-weight ratio of at least 20 horsepower per ton ensures that the tank can maintain optimal performance even in challenging conditions. Furthermore, it includes a power management system that allows for efficient energy use during extended missions or prolonged watch operations. The tank's development reached a key milestone in September 2018, when it successfully completed qualification tests for the Indonesian Army, paving the way for mass production. The first batch of 10 tanks was completed in early 2022 at FNSS facilities in Turkey. Meanwhile, the remaining 8 tanks are currently being produced in Indonesia underscoring the continuing cooperation between Indonesia and Turkey. The Haramo's design includes several innovations that enhance both crew protection and combat effectiveness. Its low-profile hull and robust suspension system enable it to traverse various types of terrain with ease. The tank also features advanced ballistic and mine protection systems, providing vital defense against modern battlefield threats. Additionally, the Harimau is ergonomically designed for crew comfort, ensuring that soldiers can operate efficiently in high-stress combat environments. Equipped with thermal imaging cameras and third-generation sighting systems, the Harimau tank ensures precise target acquisition and firing for both the gunner and the commander, giving it an edge in night operations and engagements in low-visibility conditions. In addition to the Harimau medium tanks, PT Pindad delivered 23 Pander 8x8 combat vehicles, 9 Anoa 6x6 armored personnel carriers APCs, and four Komodo 4x4 light armored vehicles. These deliveries highlight the growing capabilities of Indonesia's defense industry, which is increasingly able to meet the nation's military needs. Also included in this round of deliveries were 250 Mong 4x4 tactical vehicles, part of a larger 500-unit order placed in 2020. These acquisitions are part of a broader strategy aimed at modernizing the Indonesian Army's land forces, timed ahead of the 79th anniversary of the armed forces which will be celebrated on October 5, 2024. The delivery of the Harimau medium tanks and other military vehicles marks a significant advancement in Indonesia's defense capabilities. The Harimau in particular, stands as a symbol of the country's technological progress and its successful international partnerships. As Indonesia continues to enhance its defense industry through collaborations like the one with Turkey, it is positioning itself as an important player in the global defense market, capable of producing advanced, modular military equipment tailored to the unique demands of modern warfare.